folks. This is Dallas Cowboy Talk. You know what I'm saying? Dallas Cowboy Talk. <laughs> no, no doubt about it. The draft is complete. <clears throat> and um, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about how the Cowboys did in the draft. And in the next show of the Dallas Cowboy Talk, we're going to go through the schedule, which we didn't get a chance to go through. So um, let's kick it off with this draft. 2019 NFL draft that took place in Nashville, Tennessee. Here's a clue. It, uh, 45 million people wow. watched the draft. There was over 200,000 people in Nashville. A lot of people. That is a lot of people. So what does that say to the NFL? They're going to be like, I think we're on to something here. Yep. Because they filled up Jerry Stadium. You know, uh, they had a great showing in Philadelphia, and now this thing. Right. I also heard that there's a lot of bachelorettes down in Nashville that was disappointed because of the NFL draft. Apparently, Nashville is the number one destination for bachelorette parties. Figure that crap out. Um, the fresh hell is that? There's over 100 uh, bachelorette parties every weekend in Nashville. In Nashville? Yeah. Yeah. That NFL draft put a monkey wrench into everything. Mm. Bachelorette parties in Nashville? Mm. 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 All right. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. But the NFL draft once again delivered. The NFL must be real happy. The fans booed Goodell every single time he came to the stage. And he said, all right, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to my private jet, so I don't care. Did you see <laughs> uh, Gerald Wilkins? He did the, the bump to Goodell. I don't know if you saw that. But, that. yeah, he you know did the jump up. To G Goodell is tough, yo. Yeah, yeah. He he's a strong dude because he took that blow. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't jump either because he would have got knocked down. Then who knows what would have happened to Mr. Wilkins? Some trumped up charges, <laughs> of, some domestic <laughs> violence, some drugs. Who knows? Well, but you know what? You can look at Goodell when he's shaking these kids' hand and oh, yeah. getting into those grips. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's a he's solid a, guy. Yeah, he's a solid physical guy, uh, you know. All right. Since the draft is complete. Dallas came into the draft with six picks. They left with eight. eight. Um, great job by the front office. And we'll talk about the, the, one of the main guys at the end. But let's get with that second round pick. Tristan Hill from University of Central Florida. Um, pick number 58. Uh, 6'3", about 308. A little heavy, a little lighter. Yeah, they need someone to clog up that middle because... What the Rams did to us in that playoff game. Can't you see, like, in the free agency and in this draft, they remember that ass whooping that they got That's right. by the Rams. And it's not like by the score. They only lost by eight points. But it's the they were physically dominated, dominated by the running game. And when you can get dominated like that, you know, yes. that's, that's... That's something special. So I hope... I would love it if... Jason Garrett would put 273 up in the all around that damn complex. So they would never forget. That's always a reminder. See, he doesn't have the Jimmy. Well, Jimmy Johnson was a, a psychology major. And how he got the Great Wall of Dallas when he started saying, they don't respect you and start telling them about the Philadelphia Eagles. What was that? Record 11 sacks in one Ooh. game? Ooh. And after that, and he gave them that speech, those guys were on task from that point on. Yeah. So. You know, there was an obvious with the defensive line and their next pick, Connor McGovern, offensive guard. He can play guard and center. center. Getting ready for Fredericks. Yep, Fredericks. Just in case. And everything else. They're trying to make sure that they don't fall into the last trap with nobody backing up and making sure now that they have it. Yeah, because they got um, Connor Williams from last year's uh, draft right. who's bulked up. But he was a tackle who's playing guard. Right. They need to put him back where he was. So he might go out and take Lyle Collins' spot. Yeah, because they expected him to get big money from somewhere next year. It ain't going to be a Dallas. No. 
So either he wanted to do the hometown thing or he wanted to get paid a ridiculous amount of money. Right. So that's going to be on him. But I feel like this team is moving in that right direction. They're trying to build their offensive and defensive line. So, and with the uh, other pick, fourth round pick, Tony Pollard, Memphis. Well, they have to find someone who's a solid back and can do multiple things to ease up Zeke's workload. Exactly. They're going to have to. Zeke's going to get his yards, but I think without all the hits, I think he'll be more, even more productive with, with, with his carries. Mm-hmm. But they, I think he also does um, kick returns. He does kick returns. Yeah, I think he also does kick He's returns. He's explosive. He's like that Kamara. They're trying to compare him to Alvin Kamara. Yeah. So, like, you know, and by the way, Tristan Hill is going to be wearing number 79. And Connor McGovern is going to be wearing 66. Mm. And Mr. Pollard is going to be wearing 36. So he got 36. Ain't no, you know any number 36s that stand out? Nah, 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 nope, that's all you, bro. Make yes, it happen. It I'm, I'm excited for this, uh, especially I like this the, one. I like the picks. I like the picks because they were very well thought out. Mm -hmm. And also they said that um, what the Cowboys front office did was when who they wanted wasn't available, that they really wanted in that round wasn't available, they went down and trade off for a couple of more picks. Is it, that's the, that was a smart move. Because they didn't, uh, going into the draft, they didn't have a six-round pick. Right. So very smart by them. They got more. They just yeah. trade, you want to come up? Okay, boom. And they got it. They had, what, two sixes and two sevens. And yep. really good job with this particular pick. But I like the other one, uh, the fifth rounder, Michael Jackson. Now, they, they got a couple of Jacksons. That's, the right. name is very famous. This is Michael Jackson, about 6'1", real thick brother, um, good speed. I heard good things about him. He's aggressive. Yeah, that's what they need. Big, tall guy. Uh, so it's going to be interesting, the camp battles, when they start. He's okay. wearing Dorsett's number, 33. Mm. And then you got his father, Joe Jackson. My bad, he ain't his father, but I mean, he do look like his father with that thing around his neck. Yeah, but. he do. But this is Joe Jackson. He's wearing number 56. Um, we'll add it to that defensive line again. Dallas is building up that D-line, people. He's building, they building up that D-line. Building up the D-line and also getting, the good thing is he's getting that lean secondary that, that, that he loves. Yeah, Big, tall, physical, physical, As aggressive. They leap up and get those balls and battle for those balls. So I, I Byron Jones, things. yeah, got to be on point this year. As long as they don't move him back to safety. No, don't put him back at safety. But he, he, I know he's the bat down king, like batting down them balls. But you better start picking them off too, because right. he's the so-called Pro Bowl cornerback. He's the only one that had no interceptions. So yeah, he needs to get it together. He need to start. And you know, he can't have that. Slant towards the end of the year. Oh. That that was a killer. Mm. Yeah, yeah that, have that slant that towards penalty the end of the year. in that playoff game oh. was a killer. The hands to the face and it was third down and yeah. Mm. I think he'll get it together. I hope so. He had his off season surgery, so he should be ready. Yes. you know by the time camp and all that. So they go from to the sixth round. They got Mr. Donovan Wilson, another. Big, tall, uh, he's a safety. This is the first safety that they drafted. Yeah. So 6'1", 202, 207, another aggressive it's player. Gonna, this is going to be good. We'll see how this turns out. I mean, because... And the biggest thing is he's building speed in that secondary. And mm -hmm. that's a, something that we've lacked for a long time. Yeah, we... It's speed in that secondary. Speed like and aggressiveness. Speed, aggressive players. Yeah. We all, it seemed like we always had these choir boys in the secondary, right. you know. And Nobody with, wanna go out and make it happen. And with the Wolf Hunter playing that they gonna line back a spot and his speed alone. Oh bring Jalen that Smith. Yeah, man, those two and bringing this speed into that that the butt of that defense. It's gonna be very interesting. Will it turn mm. to another no will it turn to a new no fly zone? 
We're going to find out. We'll see. We'll see. The, you know, they still got some people there, Xavier Woods and, and um, Jeff Heath. You know, fortunately, Jeff Heath has to go. Uh, yeah. He's, a, you know, the, the players love him. Yeah. But he has to, to go. go. Yeah, sorry. Not today, but yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Dallas ended up with two seventh-round picks. Uh, Mike Weber, uh, Zeke's backup um, when Zeke was playing for Ohio State. They got him in the seventh round. Uh, were you surprised that they got two running backs in this draft? Not particularly, because also on the practice, you're going to need a good solid running back on the practice squad to help you get ready for certain types of backs. You know, mm -hmm. so it's good to have if you don't keep them on the 53 man roster. If you keep them on the practice squad, it'll keep the defense on their toes. Because you know, what are you going to do when Gurley and all those other guys that quick backs mm -hmm. like himself? And you're not practicing against anyone like that. So it'd be good to keep them. Yeah. And Weber is wearing number 40. Yeah, Bill Bates. Bill Bates. And Jonathan Wilson forgot to mention, he's wearing 37. I don't remember any 37. There's no 37. There's no 37. <laughs> so, Donovan Wilson, if you end up making a team, that's all you. 37 is yours. That's right. Oh! James Washington. Uh, yeah. Remember James Washington? Mm. Super Bowl. Interception. Safety. Should, could have been the MVP, mm -hmm. but he wasn't. Got to be turned for a touchdown. The interception. Fumble. Everybody the said to still to say that he got paid to throw it to. <laughs> not Larry Brown. Oh, not Larry Brown? Oh, that I was Larry Brown. Yeah. Mm. Okay. No, that was 24. But this is 37. That's right, James Washington. He was, uh, yeah. He was during that whole free agent uh, 92 thing, when no, 91, when uh, Jimmy was acquiring all these players. That's right. That's right. So, but uh, the other seventh round pick was Jalen Jeltz. Lanky, he looks like Taco. Taco looked like you better get your stuff together, buddy, because it looked like they just got somebody that just sort of looks like you with the same body type, tall, lean, you know, this guy is real. A lot of people say they should have put they putting Taco in this natural position, which is out. It may do better for him. Yeah. But we'll see. They, it, you can't move him out until you get some beef in the middle to help mm -hmm. push up the pocket. So yeah. we'll see. Then they're doing that. They're getting them big boys and they tch. Now, out of these drafted players that we just went through, who do you think is making the fifty three team? Who's going to get left out? Hmm. Well, I, I think you can go with that top three players that were selected. Tristan Hill, Connor McGovern, Tony Pollard. Like, I would say they, those are automatics. They're going to make the 53 because that's who they were looking for. Yeah. And so now the others, those are the ones I feel like they got to fight their way on the team. I think um, maybe this Michael Jackson fella, uh, the safety and Joe Jackson, the Jackson boys from the U. You know, with the U attitude, with the speed and everything else, I think they have a good shot. They might battle in for one. Yeah, and also I think the sa the the kid that that plays safety from the U, I think he's gonna make it. I don't know if you heard about this. Is that they did sign Larry Allen, the great Larry Allen's son. Undrafted free agent, they signed Larry Allen Jr. Whoa. Yes. To a contract. Wow. So that would be amazing. Whoa. So we'll see how that turns now, out. Now, the question is, do he have his father's heart? We'll see. Grit? We'll see. Because that'll be something to see if he can ball like his father. If he can ball like his Oh, wow. And the man that is responsible for everything you see is... This man, Will McClay, he is the guru. He is the one that's putting the draft board together for Jerry and Steven so they can pick these players. Awesome job by this man. Yes. And hopefully they could make him feel better and get a Super Bowl so he can feel vindicated and maybe go somewhere else and maybe do it again somewhere else. I don't know. Don't leave, Will. <laughs> Folks, that's all the time we have. Thanks for joining us. And Lee, please, Will, don't leave us because you're doing a great job. Peace. <laughs>